handling and accuracy of the weapons in Ghost Recon Wildlands has a humongous effect on how a weapon performs. I've been testing with it all day and I'm going to do a series of videos with in-depth views of each weapon and how they can perform because each weapon performs completely differently in every aspect. Now I want to be clear on that because I've seen some speculation and I've been testing for several hours on different weapons and so I will say this. Each weapon doesn't only have its own unique range of handling, but all the things that make up handling. Now, what does handling affect? I'm going to show this in detail, but right now I'll give a quick overview. Handling affects recoil. Handling affects how quick you can aim the rifle. And handling affects reload speed and how far your reticule fans out when you move. <clears throat> and these are all completely individual stats. And I'll back that up. But first, let me show you something right here. Here we have a Scar Mark 17, and it's chopped down all the way for max handling. It has folded buttstock, has a small magazine, it has the foregrip, it has a short barrel with a compensator, no scope, and no rail attachment. This is as handling oriented as you can get the Mark 17. And its reticule just has the smallest spread of any of the ones I've tested so far, and it has really quick aiming but its reload is still not as fast as some of the others when their handling has increased all the way. So that said, even all the individual aspects of these stats do differ between weapons, so that's why I'm gonna do a series on each weapon. So first, let's take each of these little things one by one and check them out. So let's go in here and let's pull up my scar and see what I've got it modified for. Okay, folded buttstock, the just stock iron sights or rather polymer sights the smallest magazine. Here's how. You, here's what you'd want to do to make a rifle as high handling as possible, and that's as high as its handling can go. There are other assault rifles I've tested. For instance, the uh, SR3M has is probably one of the best handling rifles and can easily max out its handling, and it cannot beat the Mark 17 in some ways. For instance, its reticule spread is always going to be farther, but it will reload faster. But anyway, let's not digress on that. Here's everything handling up all the way. And I'll, I'll show you a quick demonstration of recoil. Let's tackle that first. Here's, here's how much handling actually does affect your rifle. Because I've seen a lot of people online either speculate or say you can just adjust for it. And maybe you can. But here's the hard metrics. And uh, take from it what you will. This is with max handling on the Mark 17. Now, what handling does in this test is handling reduces the amount of recoil. If I, if I decreased handling all the way, the bullets would climb much higher up the wall. Accuracy is what, and we'll get to that later, accuracy is what decides the, see how some of the bullets are spread out horizontally. If I were to increase the accuracy, they'd be a straight line all the way up. But we're not looking at that, we're just looking at handling. Now I'm going to, for right now, I'm gonna show you all the parts, and then in the, in the future parts of this video, I'm just gonna skip past it. Let's now, let's take the Mark 17 and let's take the handling all the way down. So let's put, is that the worst butt stuck for that? Yeah. And let's get one of these sights. Probably this I think has the worst handling. And let's give it a bigger magazine. These are all things that take away from handling because they add weight and bulk to the gun. Yeah. But this is obviously the worst thing you can do for handling to the underbarrel. We're gonna put the range finder on. It's the biggest, heaviest rail attachment that you can put on. We're going to put the long barrel, and of course, we're going to suppress it. Make it as big and bulky as possible. So this is as far as you can reduce its handling, which is, as you can see, pretty much all the way. Let's go ahead and compare these bullet patterns in the wall. I'm still standing in the exact same place. Notice how much slower the reload speed is. The Mark 17 has a slow reload speed, and that's one of the things that kind of irks me about the rifle because it also has a smaller magazine than most assault rifles, but, you know, that's... That's a lot of personal stuff, you know, preference. Now you can see clearly the difference in recoil. That's, <clears throat> that's one part of handling right there. And that's a pretty decent difference. In fact, you can see right here, it just randomly started kicking more. Now, you know, if I do this again, these patterns are not going to be identical every time. But it's always going to climb a great deal more than it did on that first fire pattern. 
Okay, that didn't climb as high because I actually ran out of ammo, so let's go fill some more ammo up. So that's one aspect of handling. Let's look at another aspect of handling. Another aspect of handling is reload speed. And I think we've already we've already uh, demonstrated that, but let's let's do that real quick. Now I'm just gonna use one rifle here. I'm not gonna start comparing rifles to other rifles because they're all different on every aspect in every way you could imagine. So uh, reload speed. Here is with no handling at all. And here it is with its handling up all the way as high as it can go. There is a noticeable difference. In fact, I noticed that even with the time it took me to modify the rifle and come back, I noticed that it, it reloads now considerably faster. And of course here I put the smallest magazine, I've cut off the rail attachment, shortened the buttstock, shortened the barrel, took off the suppressor for a compensator, and so on. So that's the first thing the handling is going to affect, or rather I guess that's the second thing, is the reload speed. It has, a, it has an effect on reload speed. Some rifles will always reload faster. This uh, 805 Brin I'm using here on my side will always reload faster than a Mark 17 when it's modified in one direction or another. I can get this Mark 17 to reload faster, but I can I can still modify this 805 Brin to go even faster. The 805 Brin is a very, it's a pretty damn good rifle. It's a very quiet rifle. It's a very fast reloading rifle. It's kind of becoming one of my favorites, actually. But what I'm saying is that guns like the 805 Brin and the SR3M will always, at the same rate of handling, reload quicker than the Mark 17. Mark 17 has a few unique things, especially when it comes to accuracy, though, because you can put its accuracy way off the charts. I mean, this is a damn good gun. Let's look at the next aspect of handling, which is aim speed. I've already got the handling on this maxed out, so I'm going to compare this for you on screen. This is me holding all the way on the stick, aiming with it. See how fast it spins? Now let's go ahead and let's take this handling completely away. And here is max aim speed with the SCAR Mark 17 with no handling at all. Do you see the difference? And that's, again, just one of, I believe there's four different things that I've found that it will measure. So there's the difference in aim speed. And let's go ahead and compare the reticle speed, the reticle spread between those two, and you can see it's also vast. Now, while I said, you know, like I said, this skin will never reload as fast as something like an 805 Brin or the SR3M when, you know, handling is maxed out. But then again, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily want to use one of these with the handling maxed out because you've got no buttstock, you've got a 20-round mag, you've got no rail attachment, no sights, you know, but it's just, you know, for metrics. So while it will never reload as fast as some of those guns in certain situations, this thing has a dead on ridicule this thing this gun is just accurate this gun has if it had one statistic hardwired to it it would be accuracy so there's a quick overview of the four things which so far i have noticed are attributed to handling i wanted to do this because i see so much speculation I actually i googled last night and i looked on reddit and steam and everywhere i could think of to to see and all i saw was i saw a lot of people saying it is this or is that well now we know for sure it is this and this and this it is these four things for sure it is how far your reticle spreads it is how quick you can turn it is how much recoil and it's how quick it reloads now one thing i'm actually not sure of we're going to test right here right now does it affect movement speed i can't test that myself i'll have to use this video and see it back to back so here we're going to find out I'm going to cut these clips together. This is moving and aiming with the Scar Mark 17 completely with no handling. And now we are moving and aiming with max handling on the Mark 17. So I look forward to seeing this video once I edit this and cut these together and see. But it feels like it does move faster. This may well be a fifth attribute. And there could be more effects to handling. So when you look at a rifle, there's so much to take into consideration. Now, some people like a lot of different rifles. I have my favorites. I'm really kind of favoring the Mark 17, even though I don't like the slower reload speed because I'm not the most accurate shooter. For people who are super, super dead on accurate shooters, all you Call of Duty guys and you, you quick headshot guys who are really accurate are going to favor guns like this because you're not going to need to reload in the middle of a fight as much. This thing does a lot of damage, and if you can put the bullets where they need to be, this is a killer gun. Now, what I was saying is I have my favorite guns. This is definitely up there. 
I love the SR3M on the 805 Bryn. I like the ACR. Those are some of my favorite rifles. And so there really is so much more to take into consideration other than just damage. A lot of people use this rifle just because they know it does a lot of damage and a lot of penetration. Boy, it does. So what I'm saying is everyone likes their own rifles. I like mine. There's people who really favor the G2, and I've tried to like it, but I just can't get behind it. But that's my opinion. And because these rifles have so many individual stats, it's perfectly okay to like whatever rifle for whatever reason you want because it's probably one of those small little things. You see all those things we saw just in looking at handling? Now take all those other stats combined. All those little things are just are gonna do really create a feel for a weapon. And so if you get a feel from a weapon that tells you that you just like it the best, then it probably is the best weapon for you. Now, I'm not going to leave this video off saying what's the best weapon. It's whatever you think is the best. I'm, I'm not going to do that. This video is an introduction to a series I'm going to be doing where I'm going to be testing absolutely every one of these stats. I'm going to be measuring how far the reticle spreads, how fast does each weapon reload. I'm going to be measuring all of that stuff because if you're a numbers guy like me, then you just want to know. I still want to use whatever, whatever rifle feels right for me, but I want to know. <laughs> And so there we have it guys, that's today's very brief and general overview on handling. What I want to do is I want to dispel some rumors that the gun stats don't actually affect anything. I want to dispel some rumors and speculation that the gun stats are simply copy pasted, uh, which is something else I've seen. We know now this is not true. These guns not only have individual handling, they have each individual stat that makes up handling is also different between the guns. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to delve more into this topic and I hope you guys like it too. So if you do, let me, uh, let me know in the comments below. Click that like button and guys, don't forget to subscribe for so much more upcoming Ghost Recon Wildlands content. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. My name is Dark Dally and I will catch you all next time.